I am going to show you how to connect Video Pencil to Ecamm Live. So first you'll need to install Video Pencil on your iPad, install Video Pencil camera from the App Store, and there will be links. When you first launch it, it's going to want permissions. So we've got this install now permissions thing. So you click on that and then it's going to say system extension blocked. And then you're going to go over to system settings and you're going to hit this allow button and you're going to put in your password. And now when you restart video pencil camera, that is going to work. And then in Ecamm Live, you're going to go up to your virtual camera. We're going to turn on the virtual camera from Ecamm Live. And then within Video Pencil Camera, in this drop down, you're going to have the Ecamm Live virtual camera option. And once you've selected that, what you're going to see here is this is just Ecamm Live's output now. This is just the virtual camera from Ecamm Live. And the idea is that you've got some very professional, sophisticated layering video software on your machine that you like using. Why would I be doing that inside Video Pencil Camera? You've got something much bigger and much more powerful. So all that Video Pencil Camera is going to give you is going to connect to Video Pencil, and it's going to do that the best way possible. And it's going to expose this local NDI. And then in Ecamm, you're going to go to your overlays. You're going to add a new camera layer with this button. And then what it's going to be is the name of your computer and video pencil. So it's the name of your computer and video pencil. You might see video pencil camera is not that. You're going to select the name of your computer, video pencil. That's going to show up as a transparent box, probably. You can see that's showing the pencil drawings. You drag that into the middle and then you mouse wheel to fill the screen. So that's the best way to fill the screen in Ecamm. Just mouse wheel and it'll just be limited to the size of the screen. And then that will all be lined up. On the iPad, it will automatically create this video pencil camera connection. And that just means you are connected. Video pencil camera is taking care of your connection. If you don't have Ecamm, I have a promo code for two months free so you can try it out. Video pencil is free to try, but it's in an app purchase to remove the logo. If you have an older iPad, you might still use, need to use NDI. And also if you don't mind sort of debugging your network and figuring that stuff out, so anything before an iPhone 7 and actually anything before, I think, the second generation iPad Pro, you're going to need to use NDI. Before we use the webcam output, this time we're using an NDI output. You don't need the highest resolution NDI. You can use like the 720p and that's fine because it's just your reference for drawing. Then on here, you are going to add a camera input with this button. And in here, we select it's your iPad and it's the name of the NDI feed video pencil. Select that and do the same thing before, bring it to the middle and scale that up so it fills and then you can draw. And that's exactly the same thing. It just makes sure you lock that layer as well once you've added it. And you can layer that above everything else in your scene. On the iPad, when you set up that Ecamm output, it will have created this Ecamm Live. My computer's called the MF Pro. You just select that on the iPad and now that's gonna bring in Whatever is coming out of Ecamm Live is going to be on there, but you are going to see things twice. So it's a bit weird deleting and stuff because it's bringing the output. That's two ways to set up Video Pencil. I want you to do the Video Pencil camera way if you have a Mac. Thank you.